Another great subject um, about surfboards that um, people ask about is really bottom contours. What does a single concave do? What does a double barrel concave? What does a, you know, a V bottom do? Um, a huge part to do with bottoms is all about what you do with the water and how it sheets across the bottom of the board. In small waves, you're actually asking the board to help generate speed. And so, you know, why people prefer like a single to a double barrel concave is this is the premise. It is a, a concave actually funnels water through a smaller space. So just like a, a bend in a river where it goes to a smaller space, the water runs through that space more rapidly. So you're going to find that concaves actually direct water through a smaller space. Now, not only that, but it helps to give lift. Concaves like to, on that little volume of water being squirted through there, it helps to, you know, lift the board up. Now, why they do a double barrel, the concept is really adding uh, a spine down the middle of the board. Anytime you use this spine, it helps to give leverage to go from one rail to the other. You're going to find that single hull concaves are really good for down the line, but sometimes they can get uh, a bit hung up. I'm not a huge fan of single hull concaves, but for me, I found that they really run uh, laterally really, really fast and they funnel the water through and uh, it can become like a ball bearing. Um, as far as, uh, as boards go from small waves to bigger waves, the main difference is the board goes from needing to generate speed to actually harnessing speed. And so you'll find that the volume of water in say a big wave at Mavericks, you know, like Jeff Clark will use a panel V, a V bottom from the nose to the tail, the V actually helps to break the chop and turn the board on rail and, and, and go down the line. So you're going to find that, you know, boards will actually change in the bottom contour, contour from being concaved to flat to V bottoms just to be able to harness speed instead of generating speed. So bottom contours have a lot to do with this. Now as far as the shape of the concaves and where you put them and how you place them in the board, you're going to find that this has an arc. This has a slight arc to straight, whereas this has a straight um, uh, slot. When you, when you flatten out this section, it gives you a place to be able to redirect, but you're still channeling the water through the fins and you're really getting it focused through the tail of the board. Whereas when you uh, set up the concaves like this, where you have a slight bend, you're actually using this um, not only as a concave, but almost like a channel to help turn the board in conjunction with the fin. So it's very strategic of where you put that concave and uh, you know where the, the fin sits up on a flat panel and the water is actually coming around the fin. In, uh, in other boards you're going to find that maybe there are more simple bottoms and you're really trying to get water to come through the whole tail, not super specific like these two boards as well as this. So you know concaves they do amazing things but they're not for every board is based on the conditions.